Hey, how's it going? What we're going to do right now is make a mountain. You know, like one of those little cute ones you see on Mario and all that shit? So, the first thing we're going to do, uh, make sure your black's black, and knock out your white. Uh, I had to set up to uh, have a guide, center guide in the bottom. I have a 13 by 19 board. So, uh, click here in the center of the guide, pull these bitches out. And click anywhere down here, I guess. As long as you get like a half oval or quarter oval. Like I said I usually work with a six point stroke, so knock that up. Then let's go over, uh, where's that? The reflect tool. So click off of that, click on it, reflect, hold down Alt. And click on the anchor point there with the copy. Grab your uh, direct select A. Grab these two points. Control J and join those. Take your pen tool down here and over here. So we have a closed path. This will be a wide one. I suspect it would be skinnier, but no oh wall. Take the ellipse tool. Switch the fill. Make it black, draw a circle or oval, whatever you prefer. What I'm gonna do here is just hold down the alt, drag this over till it hits that center point there, and do the same this way. Holding down shift so it's uh, even across both sides. Add these three together. Grab the outline right here, control C to copy it. Grab both of these. And we are going to hit, well, maybe it's not that one. Hold up a second. Minus. Nope. This is the other one. Intersect. Now, control F. So that's like snow and crap. Snow cap on top of that. So, click your outline. Toss some color in it. Well, shit. Crappy looking green. Yeah, anyway, uh, select that and uh, control in the ba uh, left bracket, drop that in the back. I'm going to copy and uh, actually, I might have to do that. Actually, well, <laughs> so grab, grab your object here, control C to copy it, and paste that in front. Control, right bracket all the way up, knock out the fill. Grab that, change that shit white. See, the reason for that uh, knockout of that fill was because this white overlaps. So this right here covers that. So uh, pick some black for the eyes. Make it all cute and shit. And I need some pupils. Or not pupils, but highlights. Look at that. I'll lock all this here. Yeah. Except for that. Now we're going to do the reflect, hold down alt, center, and copy. Change this up a little bit. Now uh, uh, take the pen tool inside uh, for the stroke. What we'll do is make this black and go for a three point. Give it a mouth. And grab that and we'll uh, reflect that as well with alt. Copy. Direct select. Control J and Control J. Control C to copy that. What we'll do is uh select it. Deselect that. Go with red for a uh, tongue. Knock out that stroke. 
grab those two and intersect control F to paste that back in front fill this black see control left bracket to bring the tongue up so um yeah I just uh what is it I was using CS5 for the longest time and I just upgraded the cloud which isn't a bad deal I mean you get all the Adobe products and uh, I'm gonna start I'm gonna try using that Muse to actually redo my website instead of just being straight up blog make it more I don't know graphic appealing but yeah I mean because if you have an old the previous CS or a CS versions like five or something like that, you can actually get a discount on it that I found out, which helped out. I mean, I think it's what fifty bucks a month, but with that discount, I knocked it down to thirty for the first year, so it's kind of a benefit. But um, actually, at first I was kind of hesitant about the, uh, getting the CS six because with CS with what I do, I don't really need any of the new features to be honest, but. I figured just give it a go and see how this works, but with the cloud, I mean, I'm getting the benefit of all the other products as well before you just bought it in a package, like the designer package or the video editing package, so it's actually a pretty decent deal, because I mean, normally, the, was it, the suits cost you, what, a few grand, two grand, where here, on average, you're only spending $600 a year, I think, what it comes, to? well, yeah, around six or $700 a year for it, and I mean, you're getting all the updates. And so, I mean, you figure by the time a new, the new one comes out, you'll still be saving money in the long run. So, I mean, if I, I suggest it, I mean, like I said, it's not a bad deal. So, yeah, get this color here. Throw some spots on the damn thing. But actually, you know what? Do that one thing, or the shadowing thing I showed you. Create the new layer and select the appearance ball or whatever the hell it is. Drag it down at 30. And now uh, select black. And there's your uh, instant shadow. Actually, you know what? Do this too. We'll lock that layer with the artwork on it. the same uh, make another layer we'll do some highlights knock it on 30 make the fill white tongue also there you go got yourselves a little uh, mountain other than that have a good one and thanks for watching and the feedback on the last video of my ranting or my ranting I should say but again have a good one thanks for the support and uh, keep on watching